Welcome to Rust Turned. For those who may be unfamiliar, Rust Turned is a game mode in Unturned that resembles Rust. In this video, we'll be starting as a solo player with nothing and working our way up to raiding a wealthy base and engaging in intense PvP battles against many players. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more Rust Turned videos, please be sure to like this video and help us reach our goal of 500 likes. If we achieve that goal, I will release another Rust Turned video very soon. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. A large portion of our viewers are not subscribed and I would really appreciate your support. In our previous video, we announced a giveaway for a mythical item. Congratulations to the winner. Please contact me through Discord to claim your prize. Today we're announcing another giveaway for a burning Athena shield. If you're interested in winning this mythical, all you need to do is subscribe, like, and leave a comment below. Additionally, we're excited to announce a 5 mythical giveaway to celebrate reaching 30,000 subscribers. The link to enter can be found in the description below and we'll be rolling the winner during our 24-hour stream this coming Saturday. Today's video is brought to you by EU Modded, home to some of the most popular Rust Turn servers around, including the 10X and 3X, both hosted in both EU and US regions. These highly active servers receive constant updates and offer a voting reward system with store gift cards. The staff team is friendly and welcoming, and you'll find a range of custom mods and plugins available. What's more, EU Modded had several new servers coming soon. As a special offer, our viewers can get a 10% discount by using the code LIAM10 at checkout. Plus, there's currently a 40% sale on, so you can save a total of 50%. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity IP and port will also be in the description below and let's get straight into the video all right ladies and gentlemen we are in rust turn we are in EU modded I have used to play here a really really long time ago and apparently there's a lot of updates now it's actually quite early in the morning and there's already quite a ton of people so I assume that later on there's even gonna be more so I'm not gonna do any kits we're gonna try to go from literally absolutely nothing to getting Pretty good start. Now all we have is a backpack, two rocks, so we're just gonna chop down as much wood as possible. Now as always, I always have goals. On Rust Turn, usually they are me building a base, getting myself either a HQM full base or a full metal base. And today I want to do some raiding. I want to do an actually decent base raid. So I probably will not stop until I get myself pretty much everything. Perhaps we can make ourselves a little short movie as well today. Obviously I'm gonna be solo. I'm not really that fan of having a lot of people playing with me. Got myself some cactus because that's our only food till now we're gonna get ourselves some metal as well now the server is a bit high times loot so we're gonna get loot from farming quite easily all right so i'm gonna make myself a hammer and a building plan as well Actually, first I'm gonna make myself a cupboard, because on these kind of servers, not having a cupboard and we're starting to build base may actually decay and it will just be a huge waste. I'm gonna get myself as much wood as possible as well. Oh yeah, we got ourselves 40 total wood. I think that should be pretty good. Yeah, we made ourselves a hammer. I'm gonna make myself a building planner as well. There we go, lovely. I've got 25 wood left. Alright, so till now I'm just gonna make myself a 2 by one It'll be a temporary base. Perhaps later we'll even make ourselves another separate base. It's not a bad idea, especially in the server you can have multiple beds all right so the structure is pretty much done we'll place ourselves the tool cupboard over there i'm gonna make myself a campfire so that we can start smelting metal and all of that but we still need more wood anyway yeah we need one more frag as well for a door just get myself a ton more wood. All right, the good thing about this as well is that when you're hitting the tree, a random amount of logs go in your inventory and it automatically stacks. It's very, very, very cool. It's just like in real Rust, basically. All right, so let's start upgrading base because with Twig, literally anyone can come over here and break it. Made myself a door. For now, we'll just do a sheet metal door. Now, hopefully, I actually have enough. And we also have to do the pillars because those can also be broken. And I am out of wood already. Time to farm even more. Now, as soon as we're done farming, we're gonna start heading ourselves some monuments. Depends on which we're closest to. Alright, so we got ourselves a bed as well. And we should have upgraded pretty much everything. The only thing I need now is to make myself some storage. Also, I built next to Bandit Camp. It's not really a good location, but it's somewhere chill. We are still close to cargo, so we'll definitely head to there later on. That node literally needed one hit. We got ourselves 10 ores from that. That's pretty nice. I also got myself some stone. Don't really need stone right now anyway, but perhaps we can definitely upgrade. The, we still need to upgrade this last part. We could do it wood as well. I right, made ourselves a box. Lovely. Place that right over there. Now, if you guys do want more Rust Turned content in the future, I do actually enjoy playing Rust Turned quite a ton. And perhaps even if we start actually making Rust content. Now, the thing is, I do have Rust, but I'm just... I never really played it. But if you guys do want that in the future, perhaps we could do it. Alright, so we're gonna put everything we don't need in here. And we're gonna head straight to Cargo. Over there, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of Elite Crates. We don't have anything yet, to be honest. Like, we have nothing good. But at least we have a little base. Hopefully we get ourselves a good Lutron, maybe we'll get to kill some people. But we don't even have a bow or any of that yet. But it's fine. 
Alright boys, we're on cargo. There's crates everywhere, so I assume that nobody is here. Alright, so we're gonna take everything and then we'll smelt them all in base. Problem is, I don't have that much storage. Now we gotta hit the military crates, definitely. Chainsaw, I don't need that. Shirt, sure, that's pretty good. Scrap. We're gonna take scrap because I'm pretty sure we can buy stuff in Bandit Camp, which is right next to where our base is. We'll check it out later. We got ourselves our first gun. Custom SMG, lovely. We got ourselves a better axe. A lot of scrap. And our inventory is already full. These rocks confuse me, man. This one dropped two water pipes. Absolutely nothing else. We need ourselves a, big, a bigger backpack or something like that. We'll take the gears. Alright, so I'm pretty sure at the top of this area there's going to be an elite crate. We'll take the medical syringes, obviously. They're much better. This one hopefully gives us a vest. Come on, break. Bruh. There we go. Yeah, we got ourselves a vest. Some scrap. We don't need that axe. Some body parts. Some blades. I'm pretty sure those can be useful, but for now, all I want is just metal. High quality. We got ourselves a helmet. A better pickaxe. High external wall. There's a bunch of body parts. Some HQM. Tech trash. Yeah, we could fill up our vault, actually, as well. It's kind of smart. There's some food over here. We'll take that. And we'll do our top elite crate. We got ourselves... Okay. We got ourselves a bigger backpack, which is really good, though. Locker, bolty, we got a 4x scope as well, a bunch of ammo, alright, Thompson, pretty good Lutron, there's a star as well, I love that gun, I'll take that, drop the pistol, alright, and we are done from the strong, now we'll go back to base, salvage everything, and we'll probably go loot another monument, alright boys, and we are back in base, put the locker right over here, now it's time to start salvaging everything. Got a stack of tech trash. That's really good. We're definitely gonna need those later on. Stack of high quality. Stack of cloth. Another stack of high qual. A lot of scrap. 80 already. 90 now. We got ourselves a stack of 100. Alright. Not too bad. We got ourselves quite a ton of guns too. So I'm pretty happy with that. We got ourselves some attachments. 4x and the muzzle. Lovely. Put the bolty. Tech trash. Grenade. Grenade launcher ammunition as well. Put the... High external wall over there, stack of cloth. Perhaps with the high quality, we can already start upgrading base. We can upgrade like three walls already. Four, actually. Take the hammer out of there. We'll start upgrading the wooden parts. Another one. Maybe we could do the roofs as well. And there we go. Absolutely lovely. All right, so there's an NPC here, and this is what we can buy. A minicopter and a scrap helicopter, and we don't have enough to buy any of those. Okay. Well, that's good to know. If we do get ourselves enough, we'll buy ourselves a minicopter or something. It's not really something that we need. But it's still pretty nice, you know, to have a, a mini-copter. Well, an airdrop is landing. There's a guy over there. Bro, if we kill him... We saw, I did bring the custom with me, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Now, I'm gonna try to kill him, and I'm gonna try to yoink his airdrop. I think that would be kind of smart. Hopefully, he doesn't see me. I don't think he actually seems that geared. Yeah, the airdrop is passing by, I hear it. He's literally right over there. I need to be careful of other people, though. Yeah, he's looking at the airdrop. Alright, let's get closer. And he is dead. And he has an AK. Alright. Hey, oh, that's pretty good. Alright, that's going straight in my vault. So if I die, don't lose it because an airdrop will probably attract people here. Alright, so rust turned airdrops can have very, very good loot. They can have C4, they have rockets, they can have literally anything in there. It could just be an airdrop full of components. Now we're gonna switch the backpack as well. I put the bi the bigger backpack in my vault. So we'll use the normal backpack now because I am actually terrified of counters the airdrop is about to land okay c4 lovely we got ourselves an l96 as well let's go home put the c4 in vault we got ourselves a weird gun i've never seen before an emr i have no idea if that gun is good or not but we got it anyway all right that was a very good run we didn't loot anywhere we just killed somebody and took his airdrop w all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run around the map and i'm just going to mine metal and sulfur so we got ourselves already a c4 i'm gonna start thinking about raiding very very soon but the problem is i did not see a single sulfur node around and usually they're going to be in like the snowy area so that's where we're gonna head to at the same time i'm gonna get metal because obviously we do need metal as well Alright, so I have farmed for quite a ton. I've made it all the way to harbor. Everything is safely in my vault. Got a stack of 100 logs, a stack of 100 sulfur, and a stack of 100 metal, and more. I'm gonna check if there are any elite crates here. Perhaps we can get ourselves some more guns. I do want myself an LR or an M249, but I don't think that the M249 actually spawns in elite crates, so there's loot here. Somebody was here then. 
We'll take the blades. Actually, do make I do want to make myself a jackhammer, and it's quite easy actually. And we need pipes, we need springs, gears. There aren't on the, on the floor over here, and blades. And it'll be so much easier to actually farm. And this one has more blades, lovely. Yeah, we need springs and gears. Now there's one gear, lovely. Let's go. More pipes, we don't need that much. Oh, two springs. And the gear, and the spring, and we got ourselves a jackhammer. That's so easy to make. That's actually very, very easy. I always thought they were harder to do. I'll put that over there. I'm pretty sure that the elite crates are gonna be looted though. Because if there was loot on the floor, they probably came mainly for elite crates. I'm pretty sure there's one on this ship. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Alright boys, we are back in base, and this is where the actual stuff starts to happen. So first of all, what we're gonna do, I don't think we can actually smelt 100 by 100. Yeah, that's fine. Bam, got ourselves 100 sulfur already. Easy. Now we're gonna make ourselves the 100 metal. Got ourselves another stack of charcoal. Alright, so now let's do that and unstack the charcoal. And uh, get ourselves some gunpowder. Now we need a lot of gunpowder. We need like 60 for each C4 and we already got 60 so that should be enough for one C4 but the thing is we still need oil crude oil is very very important and I have not found a single place where they actually have them I'm gonna make myself some more crates I'm gonna up I'm gonna continue upgrading base all of the parts that aren't metal I'm gonna make them into metal so all the stone and all of the wood will be gone well there's a base here uh, it's high quality most of it and metal I think the roof is actually normal metal uh, that's good to know yeah, it's an armored door yeah, it's well hidden too. Right, this could be our potential raid later on. Now we are going to the dome. It's not that far off and I'm pretty sure over there we're gonna get ourselves crude oil. Which is, uh, again, what we need in order to raid. Alright, so we're here on another island of the map and there's a lot of nodes. So I yoinked my jackhammer out and look at how easy that is. There's sulfur as well too. Oh, well, it's pretty good. There's also a ton of huge bases everywhere. Obviously, I don't want to die with this. So if I see anyone, this jackhammer is going straight back into my vault. So much easier than using a pickaxe, man. Look at that. Literally like three seconds and we're done. Is this stone? Yeah, that's stone. We do not need stone. All right, so we need to smell the crude oil and it's not going to allow us. Lovely. So we got to walk a bit far away so that we can smelt all of this and we have ourselves more storage and we can stack and all of that because our inventory is going to get full very easily. The more oil we have, the better. So that I don't have to come here later as well. Is this good enough? Nope. Still not allowed to build near loot spawns. No, but up here still. Well, we got to go a bit further away then. It's fine. It'll be worth it in the end. What about now? Still, still close. All right, we'll still close. There's a TC over there, though. It should allow us here. Area claimed. Right, let's find an unclaimed area. Yeah, finally. We already got ourselves 60 low-grade fuel. That's pretty good. We're gonna get more, though. There's still more barrels. And then we'll head to the top of the dome. And over there, there's going to be a loot crate. Hopefully, good loot. Hopefully, nothing trash. All right, we're on top of the dome. Two elite crates. This one had a multi-grenade launcher. Lovely L96. Bunch of body parts. High external wall, some stuff fell off. There's a pump shotgun, we don't need that though. There's a double barrel. Let's check out the other one. This one has uh, another high external wall. There's an L96, as well. Dude, they're so common, I thought they were much rare. Those are raiding snipers. Custom SMG, with a lot, a lot of sex trash. All right, pretty good run, pretty good run. I'm really happy with this. A lot of oil, a lot of new guns. We can take even more oil. All right, so I made myself another crate. Put all of this in there. We got so much tech trash. I think we have way too much. So I probably should start making more C4. So maybe we can hit up a raid very, very soon. Hopefully a profitable one. All right, so I'm looking for oil. Oh, there we go. And I should have everything to make myself a C4 already. Just from items in my vault. First, we're gonna make them into explosives. Lovely, there we go. Yes, sir. Now we need cloth and we need tech trash. There we go. We got a couple. Let's search for a C4 and we just crafted... Our second one. I'm pretty sure I can make more. If not, I'll just continue farming. Yeah, we got another stack of gunpowder over here. We have 120 gunpowder. So that's equivalent to 2C4. So let's take ourselves the metal as well. Let's unstack them. Now we need the oil. Our inventory is full. Let's just wear our pants. We'll pick up a couple of metal. Yes, sir. We got the oil. Now explosives. We need metal to do even more. And another C4 has been crafted. Pretty sure I can make one more. And we would have a total of four C4. We just need oil. We kind of speed ran in this server, to be honest. I have no idea how. I guess I was just farming more than anything. All right, we got ourselves the fourth C4. Amazing. All right, lads. It's time to go and do an insane 
base trade. I can't craft any more C4 yet. We still need to make more gunpowder. I'll focus on that after. Alright, boys. We're gonna hit this raid up, the metal one. We'll throw that right over there. We'll throw two. We should take only three. We'll throw the third one. Hopefully, it is enough. Oh, it is not. Okay. Well, it's at 300 HP. This one's at 400. Yeah, the armor is out of the question. I'll right, we'll throw it there then. And we are through. And looks like there is a... Oh my god, there's a lot of loot. There's a lot of loot, lads. Look at this. Look at this. The LR. We got ourselves the large backpack, finally. L96, grenade launcher. 200 more wood. Jackhammers, AKs for days, LRs. Heavy helmet. Uh, we got ourselves a good raid, guys. Really, really happy. Uh, obviously, we cannot place this. Dude, there's M249 ammo. LRs, MP5s as well. Alright, well, we're gonna have to do multiple runs for this base. It's not gonna be finished in just one run. We gotta raid that locker as well. M249, a 96 suppressor. Uh, let's start filling up our vault. We got so much guns. And keep in mind, I'm just a solo. So all of these guns for me, probably never gonna use any of them except like two of them. There's some gunpowder as well. Two jack, Three jackhammers in this crate alone. There's lockers. There's heavy clothes, and we didn't even raid the full base yet. We gotta continue. Alright, alright, I'm panicking a bit. I'm scared that people are gonna counter, so I'm just gonna home. We'll depot, and we will return. The amount of components we got. I mean, a lot of it is just charcoal. And metal as well. We got 300 metal in our vault. There's 200 metal on the floor. We're not gonna have enough space. I do not expect that base to be that stacked. Let's just put everything in here. We'll drop the empty AK. We don't need it. Even more guns. So much guns. We got ourselves some sulfur as well. Alright, first run finished. Now we gotta go back. Now hopefully people did not hear me. And they're there looting and putting stuff in vault. Alright, we're gonna take uh, another gun. Let's take the L LR. It's a very nice skin. We'll strip the SAR as well. Put the attachments on it. Thankfully the base is very, very close. Alright boys, we are back for the second run. Yes sir, the loot is still here. It's like a grenade loot. Let's take ammo for LR. Very, very important. L96. I'll probably just take the guns that have actual ammo in them. We'll take an MP5. I love that gun. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna raid this locker as well. Stack of charcoal. Spaz, LR. MP5. AK ammo. Let's switch the vest. Let's take that vest as well. Take a heavy helmet. Switch that. Uh, let's see what we missed here. 200 metal. We'll take the gunpowder. Definitely. That's literally another C4. Armor doors. Lovely. This one has, yeah, just even more guns. They have a lot of guns, actually. They have a lot of guns. AKs, bolties, with 8 times scopes. I have no idea how you get that. A 90, another locker, explosive. This one has a lot of ammo. Take ammo. Bean can grenades. And, oh no, I thought my inventory was full. It's not good. Or perhaps we can raid, actually, with the L96 and the grenade launcher. We do have quite a ton of that. And from this raid, we got quite a ton as well. But we still gotta raid in this room, we gotta raid the locker and the room back where the armor door is as well. I still did not test the EMR out. We'll take it anyway, just in case it's good and people won't get mad that I left it. Alright, it's time to go back to base, depot for the second time, and we will return. Alright, I made myself some more crates. I had to salvage the campfire for now. Can we do that? Yeah, we can. Amazing. I put all of these in here. I had to smell some of the metal that we've gotten from this raid, but it's fine. We have more than enough. Literally, I'll, when I'm back from this base raid, I'm probably gonna build a new base. Full metal instantly. Right, let's put everything in here. So now we have an empty vault. Yeah, we have more than enough storage now. All right, let's take the L96 and take all of the ammo. We'll strip them. While we are back. How much? Uh, this one has 350 HP and the locker has 500. With one bullet, we got ourselves... Yeah, 50 damage. Okay, so one full magazine is enough to break this locker. Final shot, and AK four times. All right, nothing that good, nothing that important. But we still got ourselves more guns, so that's still pretty good. Oh, I hear people, or somebody. All right, he's gonna camp me. So I'm gonna home and I'm gonna backstab him. There's no way I'm gonna peek or any of that. I know exactly what he's gonna do. All right, did he, is he gone? Oh no, I see him, he's over here. Bro, there we go, he's dead. A lot of ammo, yeah, he was taking stuff from the base raid. Thankfully, I, not, I didn't really leave anything that good. Alright, so we gotta continue the raid. Now, we should probably raid the wooden wall. So that's what we're gonna raid next, actually, yeah. Alright, broke, and two more lockers and two claimed beds. Alright, so two full magazines for this, and we should be good. Wait, what? Alright, last shot did not register. 
Alright, bro. Okay. 300 charcoal. A lot of gunpowder. A lot of metal. Another L96. Another AK. Not too bad. This one was pretty good. There's somebody outside again. Put the gun in the vault. Oh, he's naked. What's up, bro? Wait, he took the... Alright, he was gonna run away. <laughs> he picked up a stack of charcoal. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright. Well, we'll take the L96 out again. And let's raid the second locker. Last shot. And... A lot of stat. Oh my god. Okay. 300 more metal. Bro, I'm I could build literally such a huge metal base with this. Armor door. Amazing. Yeah, he has claimed. And there's two TCs, so I'm not gonna even bother with it. Alright, so we gotta raid this room next. Metal door is at 800 HP. And I don't have enough ammo. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to base. Perhaps I can craft myself a C4. If not, I will just use the grenade launcher. We should have more than enough to raid with the grenade launcher. We'll see. We'll take the armor to top. We are back in base. Put all of the items that we've just got in. And we got ourselves some gunpowder as well. So we can maybe actually make ourselves another C4. Alright, so I made myself enough explosives. All I need is just cloth and tech trash. Salvage. Oh yeah, we need the cloth still. There we go. Another C4 has been crafted. Put that in vault. Put the L96 in vault as well. We'll stack whatever we used, put everything back, and we will return back to the insane base raid. Alright boys, we are back. Put the C4 probably on the doorway. It has like 800 HP and the other one has like 2.5k. And it wasn't enough. Lovely. 400. That did like 300 damage. Alright, yeah, I kind of forgot to bring the grenade launcher. Oops. So I'll just go back, get it, and we'll return. I heard something break back there, so hopefully stuff don't despawn that quickly. Try to see what else we have in terms of L96 ammo as well. Get ourselves six shots for the grenade launcher. Grenade launcher right over there. Uh, we are back. First, I want to check, actually, if bean cans do anything. I don't think they do anything that good, but yeah. Not worth it, not worth it. Alright, we'll use the grenade launcher. Got myself 12 shots. And yeah, they do quite a ton of damage. I'm not too disappointed with that. Alright, still didn't break though. Alright, now it broke. We just found another CC and another locker. Did a bit of damage. One shot. Yeah, with 300 HP. We have five shots with it. Hopefully it's enough. No, that shot didn't register. Great. 100 HP. Alright, well back to home it is. I should have half a magazine of L96 somewhere, so... Yeah, we're gonna finish the raid. Alright, so I'm back with more grenade launcher. And it broke, finally. Okay, yeah. More lockers, more LRs, more AKs. Another explosive, large backpack. I'm pretty sure that's where the outside is. So we actually did finish the base raid. Very good raid, I'm really happy. Now we're gonna go back to base, and we're gonna make a brand new base. We're literally stacked. We have so much items. Let's make sure we actually did not leave anything. That important. We don't really need that much heavy armor. We already got ourselves like three sets in base. Alright, so this is where I'm gonna build the base. It's very, very close to where my main base is. So for now, I'm just gonna make the structure. Probably a two by two. By two, so it'll be two floors. And it'll be full metal or high quality. We actually didn't get any high quality from the raid, but we got ourselves... A ton of normal metal. Make ourselves a spiral staircase. And we got ourselves some roofs as well. I have the base may start to decay, actually. But yeah, even from the raid, we got ourselves a lot of wood. Yeah, the base is actually decaying. And that's not good. Alright, well, the structure is done. So now we'll do the cupboard. Next, we'll go get all of the metal. We'll upgrade and then we'll start moving. The loot. We're gonna make ourselves a door as well, an armored door. We have quite a ton in base. Yeah, but look how close I actually made it. Very, very close. I can't go in. Yeah, this crate is kind of blocking the exit, but it's fine. We can parkour our way in. I did upgrade the it's base. My friend is my friend. Oh. What's up? Well, there's people. Hello. Hello. Right, I'm not gonna make right, a let's sound. Go find I saw some guys then. here. I saw some guys here. Alright, well, they're saying they saw people. Hopefully, it doesn't mean me. I'm not gonna take the gun out. Oh, they have guns. What? They're destroying my pillars. Oh, hell no. I have pillars that I still didn't upgrade yet. Alright, well, I'm gonna go to my other base and I'm gonna backstab them. Nobody destroys my pillars, man. Well, the problem is they are a team of three, so this is kind of terrifying. You see this? We can we can take the base. They want to take my base? What? How? <laughs> They're not going to take my base. Alright, all dead. And look at this, they actually st they're actually stacked. Bro, rocket launcher with a rocket. My god, AK, MP5, explosive, grenades. They said they want to take my base. <laughs> 
Dude, they have a lot of sulfur. L96 ammo. And we got ourselves uh, heavy pants as well. Yeah, we're gonna make the pillars again then. And upgrade them instantly this time. Oh, salvaged pickaxe. We did not have one. Well, we finally do. I think I actually have every single gun you can get in Rust turned. I think the only ones I don't have are like the bad ones. Like a water pipe. Or a nail gun. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we got everything. We got M249. We got L96. We got the EBR. We got rocket launcher. We got LR, AK, MP5, Thompson. All of them. Amazing. Alright boys, and the base is done. This is pretty much all of the loot that I have got. I did move everything. But yeah, I've been on the server for around 2 hours and did all of this loot in 2 hours as a solo. It's pretty good, man. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. Alright ladies and gentlemen, and that is where I decided to head off. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more us turned, in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!